Hey everybody, this is Paul. Today I'm going to be showing you where a line crosses the x or y axis. So a line crosses the x axis when y equals 0, and a line crosses the y axis when x equals 0. So let me go ahead and show you an example of this. Let's start with the line y equals 3x minus 6. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find out where this line crosses the y axis. So, like the instruction said on the previous page I showed you, we just set x equals 0. So we just rewrite y equals 3x minus 6, but instead of x, we're going to put the 0 there for x equals 0. Now we just solve this. y equals 3 times 0, which is just 0, minus 6. So then we just have y equals minus 6. So just like that, we were able to find where this line crosses the y-axis. It crosses the y-axis at negative 6. So where does it cross the x-axis? So really we just need to solve for x now. y equals 3x minus 6 and I'm just going to rewrite this as 3x minus 6 equals y so it's a little bit easier to to see because we're going to solve for x on the left hand side. And so I just flipped the right hand side with the left hand side and so it's really just the same thing I didn't change anything here but uh, anyway let's go ahead and add 6 to both sides to get rid of the 6 on the left hand side here 3x minus 6 plus 6 equals y plus 6 adding a 6 on both sides and minus 6 and plus, plus 6 give us 0 so this becomes 3x equals y plus 6. And then the next step we want to do is we want to divide by 3. And what we do to one side we have to do to the other. So 3 divided by 3 cancels giving us x equals y plus 6 divided by 3. So x equals y plus 6 over 3 is the same exact line as y equals 3x minus 6. It's just written in a different form. And so now what we want to do to find out where our line crosses the x-axis is we simply set y equal to 0. So x equals y, which is 0, plus 6, divided by 3. And this becomes 6 divided by 3, since 0 plus 6 is 6, and 6 divided by 3 is simply 2. So then we've solved that x equals 2, meaning that our line, y equals 3x minus 6, crosses the x-axis at 2 and crosses the y-axis at negative 6. So if we were to sketch this line really quick, we've got our y-axis here, our x-axis here, and we have y equals negative 6, so we start at the origin and we go down minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units in the y-direction negative, and positive 2 units in the x-direction, 1, 2, and we put a point there where it crosses the x-axis and if we just kind of connect these two dots right here we just kind of get a rough sketch of our line and uh, there you go we found where it crosses the y-axis found where it crosses the x-axis and from that we're able to draw a quick sketch of the line y equals 3x minus 6 so I'm gonna do one more example to go ahead and let this sink in here so the next line that I want to do is 2x plus 4y equals 1. So let's go ahead and solve for y first. So we're going to subtract, let's, see, let's do it right here. We're going to go ahead, and set, go ahead and subtract 2x from both sides. 2x minus 2x plus 2x plus 4y equals 1 minus 2x. So I took away 2x from here, I took it away from that side, and a minus 2x and a plus 2x give us 0, leaving us with 4y equals 1 minus 2x. And then to get the y by itself on this side, we simply divide each side by 4, and 4 divided by 4 cancel, giving us y equals 1 minus 2x divided by 4. And we're finding out where it crosses the y-axis, so x equals 0. So we simply rewrite this, y equals 1, 
minus 2, and then instead of x, we write the 0, since x equals 0, to find out where it crosses the y-axis, and that's divided by our 4. So, 2 times 0 is 0, and 1 minus 0 is simply 1, giving us the answer 1 fourth. So, therefore, y equals 1 fourth. So, at y equals 1 fourth, our line crosses the y-axis. Okay, so where does it cross the x-axis? So we'll just start out with the original equation, 2x plus 4y equals 1. And this time we're going to solve for x. So we're going to take away the y's from the left-hand side. So we have 2x minus 4y plus 4y equals 1 minus 4y. So I took away 4y from each side. And a minus 4y and a plus 4y give us 0. So now we have 2x equals 1 minus 4y. And then the next step is to divide each side by 2 to get rid of this 2 here. And 2 divided by 2 cancel, giving us x equals 1 minus 4y over 2. So to find out where x cross or the line crosses the x-axis, then we set y equal to 0. So we're just going to rewrite this as x equals 1 minus 4y, but our y is 0, divided by 2. And 4 times 0 is 0. So this becomes 1 minus 0, which is simply 1. And that's divided by 2. So that implies that x equals 1 half. This is just a funky arrow here. Hopefully that's not too confusing. It doesn't mean anything. It's just an arrow. Um, so this line, 2x plus 4y equals 1, crosses the x-axis at 1 half and the y-axis at 1 fourth. So to do a quick sketch here, here's our y-axis, here's our x-axis, and this is one unit, that's two units. This is one unit, two units up on the y-axis here. So y equals 1 fourth is equal to 0.25, so it's a quarter, so it's up just right about there, a little bit less than half. And x equals 1 half would be right there. So those two little points I drew, if you connect them right there, it gives you a rough sketch of our line, 2x plus 4y equals 1. So anyway, that's how you find out where a line, or any function for that matter, crosses the x or y axis. So hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, video tutorial, and uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.